Hey, what's up, everybody around the world? Welcome back to another tutorial in Revis Global Knowledge. So today we go into continue from our past one for office design as an office origin. So from our previous tutorial, I got like all four ground floor already and second floor, first floor I also be at that. So the thing is we haven't done for our interior design yet and pressing our topography and our tree there so now it's time to continue our project so i would like to ask you before i getting start if you are first time here and you want to know to create the whole process make sure check my description because i got pull link in description you go back and take a look for this one first before we watch for the next tutorial and of course don't forget to hit subscribe button below if you are enjoy my tutorial because i make a lot of content about reviews from now until i don't know i finish somewhere but for this maybe two year or three year i will continue process for create a new content okay so now let's continue our project i think i talked to my already okay so now what i'm going to do next for so far there actually you need to add some kind of so far there but i will just leave it like this because i know you guys know how to add that so for the tutorial we now we done our ground floor and second floor it's time to cover our actually or facade design there so how could you do that okay so i'm going to start from top view there in this tutorial, we will using our um, adapter component, messing inside, go to in mask, it's okay. Then using our rectangle, and of course, I will change it to level 2, and I will offset for, um, I don't know, some kind of 1.5 meter, I think. Let me find the starting point first. yep something like this then i'm going to turn here like this just like here just simply create our solid form start from front here i need to align one here as well just make it until here like this then it's like all like this hi for reverb bed element header element sorry so i need to divide surface first basically divide that then open node here as well and for grill there i will make it for 20 and this one i don't want yep and i will divide here as well make it for 10 is enough i think then i'm going to here We just make it for 20 and open note here. Okay, I want this wall only. Okay, so once I done that, I want to rotate my panel there. And I'm going to rotate it for 15. Uh, we just make it for 15 like this. Yep. And here I'm going to rotate it for uh, 360 divided by 15 for 345. Apply. Okay, perfect. And here I'm going to continue that. yep and here three four five perfect it's time to get our adaptive component just go to our file there then go to our new go to family as away and go to english finding for metric adaptive component there is open up one i select that repeat will transfer me to another pack just simply using our point first second select these two guys there make it an adaptive splice through points like here 
like this then set a plan set here like this I'm going to turn around here hit a sketch a couple of time using our rectangle I will start it like this just make it for 100 and just make it for and here I think I will make it for 200 only yep then it's time to move that Once I done that, I can select here and create our solid form. Yep. Then I can select all of them for assign a new material as well. Okay. So here I would like to using for wood appearance library. Just using for bird. Then load into our project here. It's okay. Once I done that, I just press here as you can see here because I got open node already. This is why I easier for press that. Come on. Okay, perfect. Then you just like your wood there, then you can just sing repeat tab. Okay, it's perfect. Then HR for riverbed element. Now we got our first facade already. It's time to get another facade. So I'm going to start from uh top there. Sorry, top here. Then go to our model using our rectangle. Start from our level two again. Then start draw from here until here like this hit escape a couple of time then I need to turn around here so like here like this create form solid form start from the back side here then here I need to adjustment here just make it like this okay so what I'm going to do next we use same as our previous mentors here HR for hidden element then I'm going to divide one by one yep and of course i need to open node as well <coughs> sorry about that and here i'm going to make it for 20. okay basically i just told you the truth from my previous tutorial and the tutorial i got production one day so my voice will be lower as you as you can hear that that's why because i record two video the same day this is the reason and the reason i got split that not because i want to get a new viewer but it takes too long for this tutorial already it it can I just make it for separate tutorial it's a better for you guys for follow up it's I make one tutorial about one hour or two hour will be uh, take quite a long time and you guys will be do some focusing that's why I separate this tutorial okay so now we done that CM for placing element you just continue to placing here like this The reason I place here like this, I think every corner we could not repeat until here. That's why I place it like this.
okay then we can repeat type okay actually every corner we got that so i'm going to delete this guy first i don't care about you yep yeah this time is perfect as you can see here Okay, perfect. Just to finish up. HR for reverb back element. Once I done that, I just go to my messing inside, then unshow mask here, select here again. Start from our top view and go to edit binary there. I'm going to offset that for two meter. then delete our previous one okay just hit finish as you can see here it's quite nice so i'm going to select here as a for select all element then eod for override graphic you can using filter actually it's the faster way but i like using for this one is faster for me for create tutorial if i try to using filter will be wasting your time Okay, as you can see here, so now it's time to create our double surface and create our side component. It's done already for our project there. So I'm going to start from top here. Our double surface is very easy because it's a flat one. So you can just make it like this, and of course you need to create within pad also okay okay we cannot put performance on this area so I'm going to open up my side plan within pad just using our rectangle start here like this until here then I'm going to minus for one meter it has get then just hit finish let me turn around first okay as you can see here so when I done that it's time to placing our side component is a very fast one just go to our messing inside side component then i'm going to add those 12.5 meter first may i move this one more okay we could not don't try to use this trick because your building pad will be follow your one so you can make it a smaller one this is how i place my tree quite nice on my project representation uh because it's like this first thing i'm going to place the higher tree from behind then another smaller tree and the last one is smaller tree also but now we could not add another tree because our tree is seen quite full already because i placed my double surface wrong already by right i should be follow this one as you can see here but i think it's just a quick tutorial i hope you got understand about that let's go back to our 3d here as you can see here it's quite nice okay and here you can add things some walkway here and some kind of awning here or steel structure here for steel structure here for car and for moto for packing as well okay guys i think it's pretty much for this tutorial thank you for joining me from start to finish i hope you got learned something new about the tutorial thank you for watching and don't forget to hit subscribe if you are first time here because your like and your subscriber is the best thing for me 
for motivate me to bring more professional content about Revit. Thank you for watching and I see you for another tutorial in Revit and have a nice day. Thank you.